morning, everyone, and welcome back to another Mornings with the Masters, where we devote ourselves to the Lord daily with you. Good morning, you guys. Good morning, indeed. We're picking up with day two of our seven days to becoming a more generous person devotional in the Bible app. There's a link to that in the description if you guys want to follow along with us. And as always, I'm going to read the scripture, then Tori's going to pick up with the Devo. Let's do it. The scripture is Proverbs chapter 17, verse 17, and it says this, A friend is always loyal. And a brother is born to help in times of need. The devotional is titled Generous with Our Time. And it starts with a quote by Corey Ten Boom that says, The measure of a life, after all, is not its duration, but its donation. Living generously doesn't just mean giving money to a cause or a person in need. That's part of it. But there's more to it than just giving money. Giving our time is just as valuable. We can always earn more money, buy more things, and make more friends, but we can never obtain more time. Instead of seeing this as a valuable contribution towards a cause or a person, we often become stingy with it and say, I just don't have the time. We all have the time. The question is, are we making time for the important? What does it look like to be generous with our time? There are a variety of ways we can make a contribution. One of them is to be a mentor. You may have heard it said that God doesn't waste anything. All of the good things and not so good things we've endured, he will use in the life of another. We must think back to the things that have shaped us into who we are and allow God to use them to impact someone else. The wisdom we've gained from all our life experiences can assist others on their own personal journeys. Be a servant. Serving often gets viewed like it's one of our last options. Most would rather be in front of others, in the limelight, receiving accolades, or possibly acquiring some credit for an achievement. The servant does what is needed in the situation he or she is in. Servants willingly reach out to people and offer help to make another's life easier. They aren't concerned with awards or spotlights. They just merely want to serve others. Be a friend. Proverbs 17, 17 says that a friend loves at all times. Friends are needed when times are amazing and when they're not. It's easy to be a friend and enjoy that friendship when things are going well. But when a friend is hurting, instead of trying to put a bandage on their wounds and make them all better, let's instead just be a friend. Our presence in their lives brings a comfort to them and lets them know that we see them and we have not forgotten about them. Our time is a commodity we will never get back. What a remarkable investment we can make when we afford some of our time to influence others. We will never know the lasting effect in another's life because we gave our time. Yeah, I love this one. Me too. There's been this kind of trending thing on like TikTok and reels and stuff like that that I think is so funny. I The most recent trend that I saw was this little clip of Zac Efron from High School Musical. Basically him and Vanessa Hudgens, I don't remember her character name, they pulled up. I guess outside his house and he got out of the car and he basically jumped over the bed of the truck to open the door for her. Uh And then the caption on this trend is if he wanted to, he would. And it's, it's basically meant for ladies saying, Hey, Mm -hmm. if your man wanted to open the door for you, he would. And it's kind of this call out. But for me, it comes back to priorities. If you wanted to, you would. And that's what this devotional just hit me in the mouth saying, if you wanted to be a friend, if you wanted Mm -hmm. to be a mentor, if you wanted to be a servant, you would, you'd make time for it. But instead I don't make time. I make excuses. Mm. And so this is just something that kind of definitely checked me in the throat. (laughs) I don't really have much more to say (laughs) other than it's a great question to maybe ask yourself. Like if we know that this moves the heart of the father, we know that this matters to God. Yeah that we love his people. Mm -hmm. If like, I'm going to say it again. If you know that this is important to God, Mm -hmm. are you making time for this? Yeah. And for me, I would probably say 50, 50. Mm. Sometimes I'm good at it. Sometimes it was a thing. Sometimes maybe yes. Sometimes maybe no. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's funny that you brought that up because literally the line that I was going to restate was we all have the time. 
the question is, are we making time for the important? And we get this question all the time in regards to spending time with the Lord, prioritizing prayer and journaling and the things that kind of go back to that last devotional that we just did about living a well-balanced life. It's like, we will make time for the things that are important or we'll waste our time. And it, I think, honestly, this comes back to like, how are we stewarding the things that God's given us? Are we looking at our time as a gift to steward for God's glory? If I look at every hour of the day and say, Lord, how am I stewarding this for you? And that's not to push you into like this hustle, busy culture where you feel like every single hour of the day has to be like maximized, but like truly thinking about, okay, if I can do one thing today that yes. would bless a friend, if I can do one thing today that would make a loved one feel more loved, if I can reach out to one person today, if I can serve in one way today, God, open my eyes to that opportunity because I want to steward my life, my time for you, for your purposes and for your glory. And we look at our time as our own and we hold it so tightly. And it's like, yeah. it's not our own. It's a gift. Every breath that we breathe is a gift from God. And we never know when we'll take our last breath. And so are we actually so grateful that we woke up with air in our lungs today and we yeah. get to live this life, that we get to love others, that we get to serve others? Because we're, we can't take any of this physical stuff to heaven. But guess what we do get to take to heaven? Other people. Like, other people get to come to heaven like when we're investing in other people's lives and we're sharing the good news of the gospel. So let's think with an eternal mindset and say, okay, God, I know that what matters to you most is your children. And so how can I love your children well? How can I serve your children well? How can I bring more people into your kingdom, Father? Yeah, it's so good. And it reminds me of what we talked about on the first day it will at least it was a thought that I had on the first day, which is like, I I don't know what God has given me if I'm not first spending time with Him. Yeah. I if I don't have ears to hear or eyes to see or hands that are open to receive from God, I'm gonna think that I own everything. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna think that I earned that job, I earned that house, I yeah. earned that relationship. It was me. I did that because yeah. I wasn't first asking God for that thing, and I wasn't involving Him in the process. Mm -hmm. And so when it comes to even like our time, we need to start that time of being being generous by giving that time back to God. Right. Say, God, how do you want me to use the time you've given me? Is it loving on my neighbor? Is it going out to that friend at school and just checking in on them? Whatever it may be. And, and honestly, I do just want to lift this up just real quick and just say so many of us are actually doing this really well. And I think it's important to not minimize this. It's like, oh, it's just being a friend. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but that's so special. So important. And I think it's John 15, 15. The scripture says something along the lines of, um, a master does not tell the slave what the owner is doing, but I have shared everything with you that the father has done with me. Yeah. I have called you friends. Yeah. Like this is this is special. And so yeah. good on you for being a friend. I love that. Want to pray this out? I do. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we come to you in awe. So just in awe of who you are and that you would call us friend. God, it doesn't make any sense to me that you would call me friend, but gosh, so grateful for that, Father. Lord, I pray right now for every person who's listening that you would just remind us that our time is a gift that the way we use it will either glorify you or it won't, Father. And so would you help us, would you guide us through the power of your Holy Spirit today so that we can truly utilize our time and the gifts and talents that you have given us to magnify your name and to bless your kingdom here on earth. We love you. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen, God. Amen, God. Amen, y'all. When else that perfect time to break out the worship music, break out the journal, and continue pressing into the Lord. Yes, and y'all don't forget that you are God's masterpiece. And don't forget that we love you. We love you guys, and we're talking to you tomorrow. Hasta luego.